Completing our task of drying in the cottage was going really well. Installing glass and windows, doors, and we even got sheetrock delivered. And then we got ice. Hello guys, welcome back. We're continuing to tackle that big list <laughs> that I had and it is colder today, but yesterday it was warmer and we were able to paint the window jams that we built last week that you saw. So those were for the primary bedroom. So now that they're painted and they're dry, they're all ready to go. We have some extra trim that I prioritize painting too. So we can install them. That's our project number one is getting all the jams in. the window weights. So these are all of the window weights that we had in the original house. Then all of the windows went to different spots, <laughs> somewhat. Um, so we categorized and grouped the windows by weight because if it's a really large window, it how they work is they function on a weight system. So when you raise the window, the weight lowers. So the bigger the window, the heavier the weight needs to be in order to counter counterbalance that weight. So we had to group them by weight to figure out what window they go back to. Romeo's working on taking off all of the old rope because we have all new rope for it. We have eight pound weights, we have five pound weights, four pound weights, and also one pound addition weights. Fives are gonna go in the kitchen and the guest bathroom. And then the fours are for the primary bathroom. And then these big ones are for the living room and the guest bedroom. So now we're gonna place them by each window so that they're already ready and planned out. So when we get ready to install all of these windows today, or at least some of them, we can just hook them up and they're already in. Also this week it was warm enough to paint all of the window wheels, which is what helps the rope and the weights and the windows to slide up and down. They were all painted white or still metal color or just in bad shape. So I painted them all the same color. They're all champagne bronze. And it's a really pretty kind of like brassy, soft brassy color. So I was able to paint all of those. We're gonna install them using a mallet because they kind of have to go in pretty tight and then put the rope put the windows, have the windows in. <laughs> I still have to do so much to these kitchen windows too with the, the bottom sill isn't long enough. That is not important for drying in. Our goal is to dry in and then go back and I'm starting at the front of the house and doing all of the detail work, the caulking, the trimming, that type of stuff. We have our weights and we have all of the wheels installed and we have all of the windows. <laughs> Finally the pieces are starting to come together. <sighs> Let's install these guys. Where we belong, we belong. 
Today's a good day. We got sheetrock delivered. So they were just delivering it today. All inside the different rooms. I think they're coming tomorrow to hang it and it's gonna be different teams. So it's like one team delivers it and then the next team hangs it and then the next team tapes and floats it or, or something along those lines. But at least the sheetrock is on the property. That's a step in the right direction. Uh, we still have to make progress on drying in this house. So the next step is doors. <sighs> The pretty doors are going here. Gosh, it must have been how many months ago? How many, like last March or April when we found these doors? So one side is like a distressed white uh, and then the back side is pretty much a distressed dark brown. I don't want to do anything to these doors except seal them. That's like, I don't want to sand any of this color out. I love them exactly like they are like raw and organic looking. Um, so we just need to build jams for them and install them. We're gonna run to the hardware store too and get some hinges. So I'm gonna measure the hinges. We're gonna make some jams, but we have to make one very important decision. Do I want the white side inside or outside or the brown side inside or outside i don't know i'm gonna put both of them one each way so here's the brown side if it was outside and here's the white and i want to look i got my sample this is the this is the sample of the decking material that's going to go on the floor out here so i feel like it would give us a good reference point this is the floor for the inside, but it's not gonna be this raw wood, obviously. It's gonna be um, sealed. So maybe we could look at the samples with it and see how it's going to look to help us determine. So this is if we put the brown side outside and it, it mashed up to the decking. And this is if we put it inside. Obviously this will be a little bit yellower, which will look more like the door. White side has the same undertones, but a lot less brown. I think I like the white on the outside and the brown on the inside. Look how pretty the white is with the, the house being this color and it adds some warmth without being like totally warm on the outside. And then the brown will face the inside and add some warmth to the interior. I think that's the way to go. I think that that's what we should do. Okay, so first step is I've gotta make sure that these doors are square on the bottom. I feel like they're not. For some reason it's throwing me off and I, I wanna square them up, fix the doors, then we need to make the jams, install the jam, install the doors once we get hinges. So I just measured it and you can see that it's not square. There's a lot less on this side than there is on this side. So I drew a line that I can cut. It's probably just from wear and tear and you know, just sitting worn off here. So I'm gonna make this door seven foot tall, which is that line. Right in the middle of me trying to figure out how to install that door, the sheetrock guy showed up to deliver all of the sheetrock for the whole house. So they were loading it in, putting it in the different rooms that it was supposed to go in, which is great. I got, su I got super excited because we had the sheetrock on site so the hangers could come within the next couple of days. And then we had an ice storm freeze situation that rolled in and stopped all projects the weather, which is really why I wanted to be in the cottage before December, because then that I could avoid this time of year. We had a really bad ice winter last year. So we were on pause just for a little bit while this ice storm kind of moves through. I was finally able to get down to the house yesterday just to check on it and try and work for a little bit. There are icicles hanging off the house. My work area outside is covered in ice. I was working inside with a heater, a space heater on. My hands were frozen. So we are, uh, we are back inside. <laughs> we are on pause. Now that you're all caught up, we are about to enter makeover room design phase of the cottage, which is what I've been looking forward to the whole time, decorating it, having the vision kind of come to life. And where I have a lot of visions and ideas for specific kind of moments that I want in the house, since we're so close to doing the actual design, I thought it would be fun to take advantage of this kind of like icy, 
couple of days that we can't really work down at the house just to wrap my head around the design. What I want it to look like, colors that I want to incorporate, bringing in pictures, like, you know, make some, make some mood boards, kind of show you guys my process because I need to work on it. So we might as well work on it together. Kinsley is very excited for when we start doing DIYs in the house because she's always my little helper. I know. Always start with looking for inspiration, whether that's on Pinterest or Instagram. I do it on Instagram too. I'll use the kind of save or bookmark section of Instagram so that I can go back to pictures. And you guys can follow my boards too on Pinterest if you want to, to see all of these inspiration pictures. I have a comfort cottage board. Let's start there. I want to start to pull some of these inspiration pictures into individual mood boards that I have on Milanote, which is another uh, platform that I use and I really like it to organize all my ideas and thoughts and things I've purchased like photos of them or measurements and I have access to it on my phone so it's it's super helpful oh my gosh I found this last night I was like oh my gosh I love this so much but salvage design center I click it and there's nothing there oh it's in Denver I'm jealous if I'm in, if you're in Denver go to this place wherever this is but look at those like the art and the I loved that. I want our whole home and every room in the house to have its individual character and its individual point of view, but all be super cohesive throughout the house, but all have a very cozy, warm feeling. And I've always thought of, of rooms as sisters or siblings rather than identical twins. I don't want to do every room the same color or it to have all the same details and I want each space to have somewhat of a unique identity but still complement each other if that makes sense. I loved these uniquely shaped mirrors for the bathrooms and I actually found one that isn't exactly like this but it's more of a shield shape that I'm going to be using in the guest bathroom. So this was a big inspiration for me. I loved this bathroom. I love look at this like cool bar that they put below it because they don't actually have a vanity there. I thought it was cool that they utilized the space below the vanity or the space below the sink to actually have like towels there. And it, it brought your eye down and it grounded the vanity a little bit. And it was just a simple bar that goes across. I feel like that's super easy to do. So the rooms I wanna focus on finding inspiration for today is the kitchen which is gonna be one of the first rooms that we make over or we design and the guest bathroom. Those two spaces are gonna be first because I want to make sure that we have obviously a bathroom to use when we move in. And then the kitchen, obviously I need <laughs> done. We need to have a kitchen in some forms. I like this overlap look, how they have the backsplash go up underneath the mirror so that there's layers. It's really pretty. I think I really want to do some kind of wallpaper or wall detail somewhere. Our guest bathroom used to be their kitchen. So it wasn't a huge kitchen, but when you turn a kitchen into a bathroom, it became a big bathroom. So I wanted to utilize the original exterior or interior walls the best that I could when I was designing the floor plan. So I brought the wall in a little bit into interior walls for storage. So I have storage going to the next room, which is my closet storage in the bathroom, which is pretty large space to do something fun with, and then storage to the hallway for like a little linen closet. So I just utilized about two foot unique opportunity for that little storage area in the guest bathroom to do something cool. And I originally thought that I would find an antique piece of furniture or just a furniture in general that I could redo or repurpose, but I think the space is just way too large. So I'm thinking that we could make our own piece of furniture, like more of a built-in piece of cabinetry that we can put in there and then make the exterior look like an old antique something with like glass doors and drawers underneath and just kind of make it so that it fits the space perfectly and it's super custom. When I pulled you guys to see which spaces you were most excited for, the guest bathroom wasn't one that you guys were most excited for, but it is one that I'm excited for because there's so many special elements that are going in there that I think it's gonna be really special. So I think it's gonna come together really nicely. 
the kitchen just has so many wonderful things. This was actually the first kind of inspiration board or mood board that I started working on because obviously we had to make really important decisions about appliances and plumbing so early. Our refrigerator and our hood range is ready to come, but our range oven is not ready yet. I believe they said February, we're in February. And then our dishwasher, I think they said May. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it was just so far in advance. I was just like, okay, it'll come when it comes. If you've been building, you know the delays and deliveries have been kind of crazy. So this was one of the first boards that I ever created. We also have so many DIYs that we're gonna be doing in there. I am building all of our cabinetry from scratch. I want them to be solid wood, so I'm not going to be do using um, prefabricated boxes for the cabinetries. What I do think I'm going to do is build the box boxes myself from cabinet grade wood, then purchase a special kind of profile or special kind of like shaker door that I want. All of the doors I'm gonna purchase to, for specific for size. Some are gonna be glass, some are gonna be uh, solid. I think I want a mix of different types of doors and a mix of hardware, all the same finish of hardware, but I want different shapes. I want some that are pulls, some that are latches, some that are handles, some that are like all the things. I just want an eclectic kind of look. I don't like, it's gonna be so much fun. We're building our own cabinetry. I'm building the island from scratch. I'm gonna DIY it using the old turned wood posts from the porch. I'm gonna use those as the kind of like island legs in the front that the bar stools will sit next to. One thing that I have not picked yet, haven't found and I don't know what I want it to be is the kind of backsplash or the um, tile that's gonna go in the kitchen. I don't know what I want it to be yet. Once we have samples or the actual countertops themselves, uh, that's gonna be a lot easier for us to decide on. You guys, I'm obsessed with fruit art. <laughs> I told my mom, I was like, your next collection has to be fruit, still life fruit art. I'm obsessed with it. I don't know why. Like, look at this one. This is so pretty. Look at this like moody, hanging grape, lemon fruit. It looks aged and pretty. I love that. I love that so much. I'm, I told her I'm obsessed with fruit art. You're going to have to do something. Also, you guys want a sneak peek of the fence that my dad and I are going to build? <gasps> Okay, so this is, there are parts of this that I want, um, not not this whole thing. So I don't take off the black kind of iron New Orleans looking topper. I don't want that. I'm looking at the combination of rock and black iron. Where I think the white picket fences look nice with that style, I don't think it's the look that I want. Um, and I kept seeing the fence black. And I don't know why, but I just, I kept seeing it. So I wanna do rock columns all the way, like like five foot rock columns, one on each side of the door at the street, and then two all the way at the end where the fence will go back towards the house. And then we're gonna do wrought iron, a pretty wrought iron fence between each column. So it's not gonna have this rock wall underneath the iron. It's gonna go all the way from top to bottom. I want flowers and greenery to grow through the iron. Like I want it oh, to be lush and very pretty. I'll show you guys more inspiration when we get closer to that because that's gonna be a project from my dad and I in March or closer to springtime when it warms up a little bit but before the rainy season. And I'm really, really excited. You guys can follow all of these boards on my Pinterest if you saw anything that you really liked that you wanted to save for yourself for a project. We are starting so many DIYs. <laughs> We're starting so many room makeovers. This is going to be epic, you guys. I'm so excited for like my vision to come to life, to have something that was like truly mine and that I truly, like we own this house. It's not a rental in Los Angeles anymore. Like I own that dirt. Like that makes me really excited. All very exciting. I know the ice kind of put us a little bit behind <sighs> just things, but sheetrock is on site. We have a few more doors to put in. I am going to finish drying in this house. We are getting sheetrock and then we'll get the plumber, the electrician and the AC guys back out there to do their wrap up, deliver the AC units, 
install the plumbing things. The plumber's kind of gonna be an ongoing process as I get flooring down, but the electrician's gonna come out. We're gonna have all of that. We're gonna have electricity running through the house. You guys, not just an uh, extension cord that I run from outside, like actual electricity. It's been a long time coming. I hope this journey has been inspiring um, in so many different ways. It's given me so much life and so much happiness and this is just what I love to do. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and updates and this gave you a little taste of what's to come. Make sure that you're subscribed and with the bell notification turned on so you know exactly when I upload here every Sunday. If you want even more behind the scenes of our adventures, estate sale shopping, thrift shopping, finding all the things, just behind the scenes updates in general. Follow my vlog channel too for two additional videos every week. And of course over on Instagram and all the other things. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys. Kinsley, are you ready to move in a house? Are you ready to do some DIYs? Oh, she's so tired. Sometimes when I look at my inspiration boards, I get, I'm like, oh my God, this is so pretty. I get so excited because all the things that I like. Whoa, wow.